YouTube channel. Uh, I am Rohit. Today we will talk about the CMDB overview. What is the CMDB? Why we need the CMDB and how we can use the CMDB in our um, uh, service now instance. So in an organization, CMDB is a very important uh, um, part. Okay. So whenever you have a, in your organization, whenever you have a, some assets called laptop, router, uh, mouse, these all are fall under CI. Along with that, any, if you have any software called um, Visual Studio, uh, you have that SQL Server, all these under fall under the CI. Okay. So, what is the CI? CI is a some tangible or intangible data. Then so, why we need the CI? Because suppose if you, if I go to the incident table quickly, incident table have a uh, field called some configuration item. Configuration item is nothing but a CI. So what what is the use for the configuration item? Configuration item is used and which is pointing to the nothing but a CMDB CI table. And what is the purpose of the so configuration item is needed because um, if your laptop is crashed or if your uh, some application is not working, you are going to create an incident right into uh, for the help desk. So that how we can track that. In that case, we are managing to that CI. Along with that, we need to maintain the CI lifecycle, right? So whenever we purchase a laptop, we need to uh, mention that this laptop is uh, created or purchased on this many, uh, the value was that, okay? And it is assigned to this this person, okay? And after that, it's duplicated or after that, it might be reassigned some other user. In between, their hard disk is upgraded. Everything, every data we should maintain into the CMDB uh, class. Okay, uh, so in that case, we need the CMDB in our um, system. So CMDB data, uh, how the data or uh, where we can get the CMDB module in the service now. For that, you have to type configuration. Under this configuration, there will be a module called uh, configuration module. So this is the configuration module where all your CMDB related data is there. Okay. So without wasting time, let's get started in depth. This is my configuration module where all our um, CI related details or the configuration details are there. Okay. So before that, what we have to understand that the in the configuration model, CMDB CI is the base table. What does it mean that? Uh, so if you have uh, suppose you have a Windows system so it should go a particular table okay think about in a some view so if I go to the CI class manager the this module and click the hierarchy hierarchy you will be able to see so configuration item is nothing but uh, the CMDB CI table it have this many child table and each table we call a class application this is also a class Badge job also a class accessory this also a class everything we call a class so in a configuration item or in a uh, um, configuration management every uh, things every uh, child table we call a class so configuration item is a base table where all your data will be stored and these all are child classes so you can see 2784 this is the total data in my cmdb cl table so think about in a if i type that cmdb underscore ci dot list this is my actual table where all the data and you can see the 2784 data this is the actual data i have okay and if i open this any of this data this is the parent table or we can say the base table if i open this data the right side it's showing the class class is nothing but the child table so this is when i click that it is going to the cmdb ci computer so cmdb ci computer is a child class so if i go here and type the computer you can see computer is a fall under hardware table okay hardware is my parent class and the computer is my child class and computer have a these many child class and computer table have 855 uh, data total record in the computer table and so in a cmdv there is a very uh, popular terms called ci classification so what is the ci classification 
think about that this is my parent table 2784 data is there 2784 data is there i can create the data in this base table right why should i create the data in the application table so that is the classification so we classified in a proper way that this is my actual classification so when uh, let's take an example So in the Windows Server, let's talk about that. There is eight data you can see right now, right? And if I go here, these are the eight data. SAP, uh, NY, something like that. And their manufacturer is the uh, Lenovo. So why don't we create the data into the configuration item table instead of creating the child table? Because we are trying to more classify that this is the data or this is our actual data, okay? Which is actually the server data, Windows Server data, right? So if you uh, think about that, so whenever the data, instead of creating in the parent table, if we create the exact child table, that is called CI classification, okay? And what is the uh, uh, CI reclassification? So whenever you change the CI, right now you think about that, uh, the data, the eight data is there, in between the two data is the wrong classification, wrong classifier. Right? In that case, you might need to be changed instead of Windows Server, you might need to change the Deluxe Server. In that case, we call the reclassification. So there is a two more terms called CI upgrading and CI downgrading. What it means that CI upgrading means any data which is present under server uh, might not be present to the child table. It's not a properly classified, right? It's created under server table. It's not created under Windows Server. So it is not classified properly, right? So if we move the data from server table to the child table called Windows Server or Linux Server, then we call the CI class upgrading. Means that you upgraded the class, you more classified. But whenever you move any data from Windows Server table to the directly server table, so you are not classifying properly, right? It is called CI downgrading, okay? So these terms, two terms are important. Along with that, there is a one more term called CI class switching. So suppose a record which is created under Windows Server that is not properly right CI. So you move that Windows Server table to the Linux Server table that is called CI switching. So it means that you are not moving to the upward or you are not down, moving the data to downward. You are switching on the parallel table that is called CI switching. So think about uh, properly. So in a CMDB CI, there is nothing but it's a just a data um, which is going to refer into our incident problem change table. And this data will be uh, discovered or created mostly by CMDB, um, like mostly by discovery. Like discovery have a two types of uh, discovery options. One is the horizontal, another is the vertical discovery. So two types of disk by discovery, this data can be populated. Otherwise, you can create manually the data. That's not a problem. But normally, we discover the data too popular in the CMDB CI table. See, uh, this is the configuration item, which is the base table. And each table, if I if I group by, by class, there will be multiple cl uh, child classes. You can see uh, total 35 classes is there right now created. And this is the application class. This is the Java class, database class. Everything is a child table of my CMDB CI table. So you can see that email server, IP route, IP switch, Linux server, everything is a kind of a CI. If I let's talk about, let's open one CI. This is my CI. What is a CI? CI is nothing but a data which have some information to identify that where it is belong. So let's think about this is the Linux server. What all information is there? This is the name of this Linux server and this is the asset tax, okay, the manufacturer, and then uh, the class is nothing but a Linux class. Serial number is not there, company is there, and it is assigned to its blank. So these many, um, um, where it is belonging, this is the operational um, OS version, uh, this is the operating system. So these all information will be stored into this class or this table. Now here is the thing, in the bottom sections, you can see the related item, okay? why we need the related item. So think about that if I talk about a any uh, software called um, MS SQL server. So how it is used? 
MS SQL Server must be installed in a one um, in, uh, in operating one operating system. So operating system also has CI, and that operating system must be installed in a, any asset or laptop or computer. So that is also a CI, right? So any CI or any um, server or any any of these application server CI they are dependent on each other they cannot work with independently right so a desktop cannot be work without any server without any operating system right so these are the uh, they are different different ci and this is the uh, uh, place where you can see how they are connected okay so this this is we call the relationship so one one computer is going to be used um one operating system and then one operating system is dependent on one of the computer maybe so this is the plus side why so this is the dependency view from where you can see the complete picture of this server how they are connected with each other so if i click here you will be able to see this uh, dependency view how they are connected with each other so this is the complete uh, things if you see here is your name your Linux server. Linux server in uh, inside the Linux server, it have a one database, and the database have a mass storage system. And this uh, Linux server runs these many uh, on on these many server, and then these are the running these many services running on these uh, web server. So this is the complete picture where um, you can see that how the CI is looks like or how they are dependent on with each other so you can see this is the one service which help so which is going to be um, running the service for that this many infrastructure are required so that's all about the ci now this ci should have managed like this should ci should have compliance this ci should have a um, dashboard to manage right so you can go to this configuration or you can click here to dashboard you will be able to go to this dashboard cmdb dashboard for particular this ci right? the compliance the used and everything you can see audit so everything can be seen for the ci this is a one of service uh one of the service here uh, in the uh, cmdb ci there is a very important thing is called operational status and this operation status have these many operational status so what is the operational status it uh, it let you know that what in a position of this service or what is the position of the ci so if it is operational it means that that is working fine if it is um retired the status will be retired if it is in uh, new or something different it means that it is not yet um deployed or not yet working fine here is the managed by field that you let you know that this ci is managed by this user and uh, if you see the owned by, it means that this user is owned the CI. The responsible user is owned, uh, owned this uh, responsible user. And in the bottom, again, this is all are uh, the the relationships connected with each other. These are the CI connected with this service. I hope you guys I are understands. Uh, we'll talk about in the next uh, call CMDB dashboard and CMDB query builder. Those two important part. Thank you very much.